Of course, talking about different sporting disciplines on the final day, we have experienced stiff competitions in different disciplines and some of the matches that has just ended is the men's volleyball final that was pitting Equity Bank who are playing against defending champions who are Cooperative Bank. Equity Bank picking a 3-2 to two sets in their match. This is the first time they're winning the title in two years and of course remember last year they lost in the finals against the defending champions who are the cooperative bank in uh, three to two sets and uh, talking about this game of course i will engage some of the people who have been integral in the equity bank team winning the title he will tell us his name and uh, what actually tactic they used to win the game welcome on ktn news and scoreline just tell us your name and of course uh, how does it feel to win this match and what tactic did you use to win the match Thank you, thank you very much for the invitation. My name is Vincent, a volleyball player at Equity Bank. Winning this has, has been timely because uh, being that we lost uh, last year to the same, same opponent and coming back strongly, winning the, to the same opponent has been a big boost for us. Preparation has been top-notch and uh, everything has been going on well and uh, the win we've got is not a surprise to us because we've labored out in, in uh, the exercises and the preparation and for sure, that, that would be the fruit of all that, that we've labored on throughout the three weeks. Mm -hmm. Given that we've been champions for the past, uh, in the same same season for the past uh, five years, and losing it uh, consecutively for the last year and the previous year, that has been a challenge to us. So that has given us the motivation to actually push, uh, push over uh, and uh, get the best results out of the, the, the today's finals. Thank you so much and uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Endeavors. That was the player from the equity bank side just sharing with us some of the tactics they used to win the game. So we are also um, keeping tabs to in other sporting disciplines and of course talking about athletics. I will talk to some of the participants. She will tell us his, uh, her name and of course uh, which position did she emerge in the uh, race that I just ended some few minutes ago. Welcome on Scoreline. Just tell us uh, your name and uh, how does it feel competing in your category and which category was that? Thank you so much. My name is Marianne Dongo from Absa Bank. Okay. I'm happy to be here. It's my first time actually to participate in the Interbanks. I'm elated. I'm so happy that the competition has been competitive. Why athletics? Okay, athletics, even without the interbanks, I love running. <laughs> I think that's what I use as a way of keeping myself fit and also as a way of uh, for my, during my leisure time. So I love athletics, not just because we are in this competition, even outside there, I love running. Thank you so much and congratulations. Welcome. Thank you so much. Yes, of course, talking about people who have been part and parcel of these games, you will talk about these people who have been organizing uh, these games from the first edition to this year's edition. This is the Kenya Institute of Bankers and we are joined by the chairman who will just tell us what are the plans after here. Are they actually are planning to incorporate the games in other counties? Welcome so much on Scotland, Chairman. Um, just share with us how the final day and how has it been? Uh, thank you so much uh, for covering this event. My name is uh, John Riba Mohoni, Chairman, Kenya Institute of Bankers, and also working for ABC Bank. For today's uh, event is a success for us. We have uh, 35 banks participating. And at this time around, we wanted everyone to participate and we we're even going to tier the banks into three levels. Yes, we have a strategy of actually moving them into counties and even the larger East Africa. We're going to be seeing next year competing with the East African fraternity and also the county so that we can tap in the talents across the country. Well, that was the chairman just telling us what we'll be uh, aiming and what will be after uh, this event, saying all these talents that have been tapped here, they'll get a platform to compete in other events. And yes, there is a plan to see this event move to other counties across the country. So right now, I will also speak to the chief guest who is here, none other than...
who is none other than the CBK Deputy Governor Susan Jemutai. Thank you so much. Welcome on Scoreline. Of course, one of the biggest events in the country. How does it feel being here and uh, how do you see the competition in this year's edition? And thank you, uh, KTN, for covering this event. First, I want to um, appreciate that the organizers, that is the Kenya Institute of Bangas, the CEOs of the participating banks and Central Bank, who are the uh, sponsors overall uh, and patron also for KIB. I'm delighted to be the chief case on the closing ceremony of the 37th Interbank Games. This Games uh, comes at a time when globally we've been facing uh, challenges. And despite of the global challenges, we have noted that the financial sector in Kenya has continued to remain stable. Of course, uh, saying coming from the banking sector, are you maybe planning to come on board and maybe be part and parcel of the local leagues? Talk of football, talk of volleyball, talk of uh, basketball. I think you already know that most of our banks do participate in even the, the, the uh, Premier League locally. I think we have uh, KCB also participating and I'm sure that they will continue to participate. And I'm even sure that given the kind of culvers that we have, even from the Central Bank of Kenya, that you will even see most of them participating and being able to represent our country. Let's talk about other actually matches that is actually uh, about just to start. Of course, uh, some minutes from now, we will be actually waiting the final, the big actually match that will be pitting KCB and uh, Bank of Africa, who actually talked to me some few days ago preparing for this. And it is the first time the Bank of Africa actually are making it to the final. So we will actually